Have you ever heard of rhabdomyolysis? A term that might sound complex, but it's crucial to understand. Rhabdomyolysis, often simply referred to as rhabdo, is a serious syndrome resulting from a direct or indirect muscle injury. It's a situation where damaged skeletal muscle breaks down rapidly. Now you might be wondering, why does that matter? Well, the breakdown products of damaged muscle cells are released into the bloodstream. Some of these, such as a protein called myoglobin, are harmful to the kidneys and can lead to kidney failure. Rhabdomyolysis is not a common condition, but its occurrence is not rare either. It can result from various circumstances such as intense physical activities, certain medical conditions, or even prolonged immobilization. It's a serious condition that requires prompt treatment and can be life-threatening if not addressed. So, why are we talking about this seemingly obscure medical term? Because knowledge is power and being aware of this condition, its causes, symptoms and prevention methods can help you or someone you know in a time of need. The aim of this video is to provide you with a comprehensive understanding of rhabdomyolysis so you can be better prepared and more informed. Now, it's crucial to remember that rhabdomyolysis can affect anyone. It's not limited to a particular age group or demographic. It doesn't discriminate between a health enthusiast or an occasional gym goer. This makes it all the more important to be aware of this condition and know how to prevent it. In the coming sections of this video, we will dive deeper into the symptoms of rhabdomyolysis, the risk factors, and the foods to avoid. We will also discuss the treatment options and prevention methods. This is not meant to scare you, but to empower you with knowledge, because the more you know, the better you can protect yourself and your loved ones. Now that you have a brief understanding of what rhabdomyolysis is, let's delve into its symptoms. Recognizing the symptoms of rhabdomyolysis can be life-saving. It's about being aware of your body and its signals. Let's dive into the symptoms of rhabdomyolysis. This condition can present itself in many ways, but there are a few key symptoms that stand out. First and foremost, muscle pain is often a significant indicator. This isn't your typical post-workout soreness, but a severe, unrelenting pain that seems to permeate the affected muscles. The pain can be localized to a specific area or it can be widespread, affecting multiple muscle groups. Another notable symptom is muscle weakness. This isn't about feeling lethargic after a long day. We're talking about a noticeable decrease in your strength to the point where even simple tasks like lifting a cup or climbing stairs become challenging. This weakness can be sudden and dramatic, leaving you feeling as though your muscles are simply giving out on you. Now, one of the most distinctive symptoms of rhabdomyolysis is dark-colored urine. This isn't the typical dark yellow you might see when you're dehydrated. Instead, it's a deep, dark red or brown, similar to the color of strong tea or cola. This color change is due to the presence of a protein called myoglobin, which is released into the bloodstream when muscle tissue is damaged and subsequently excreted in the urine. Alongside these, you might also experience symptoms like fever, nausea, vomiting, confusion, and rapid heart rate. It's important to remember that these symptoms can vary in severity and may not all present at the same time. In some cases, rhabdomyolysis can occur with few noticeable symptoms, particularly in the early stages. This is why awareness and vigilance are so crucial. Knowing these symptoms can help you act promptly if you or someone around you develops rhabdomyolysis. It's always better to err on the side of caution when it comes to your health. If you suspect you or someone else might be experiencing rhabdomyolysis, seek medical attention immediately. It's a serious condition, but with timely intervention, it's also one that can be effectively managed. Understanding the causes and risk factors of rhabdomyolysis can help in its prevention. Let's delve into some of the common causes, shall we? First off, trauma is a leading cause of rhabdomyolysis. This can occur due to accidents, falls, or any incident that causes direct damage to the muscle tissue. 
when our muscles are injured, they release a protein called myoglobin into the bloodstream, which can lead to kidney damage, a key concern in rhabdomyolysis. Next, infections can also lead to this condition. Viral or bacterial infections can cause inflammation in the muscles, leading to muscle tissue breakdown. Certain types of infections, such as influenza or HIV, are particularly known to increase the risk. Drug use, specifically the misuse of substances like alcohol or heroin, can directly damage muscle tissue or lead to dehydration, another risk factor for rhabdomyolysis. Even certain prescribed medications, such as statins used in the treatment of high cholesterol, can potentially cause rhabdomyolysis. Strenuous exercise, especially when performed in high heat or without proper hydration, can also cause this condition. It's important to note that rhabdomyolysis doesn't just happen to elite athletes. It can affect anyone who pushes their body excessively without adequate preparation or recovery. Now, let's move on to some risk factors that increase the likelihood of developing rhabdomyolysis. These include genetic muscle diseases, such as muscular dystrophy, which make the muscles more susceptible to damage. Dehydration, whether it's due to insufficient fluid intake or excessive sweating, can also increase the risk as it impairs the kidney's ability to filter out harmful substances from the blood. Certain medications, especially when taken in high doses or in combination with other drugs, can increase the risk. For instance, the use of statins in combination with certain antibiotics or antifungal medications has been linked to a higher risk. So, in essence, rhabdomyolysis can be caused by a variety of factors, some within our control and others not so much. But by being aware of these causes and risk factors, we can put ourselves a step ahead in preventing this condition. A healthy diet can be a powerful tool to avoid health complications. But did you know certain foods can contribute to the risk of developing rhabdomyolysis? Let's delve into some foods that you might want to avoid, particularly those high in cholesterol, sodium, and processed sugars. These can lead to health problems such as high blood pressure and obesity, which indirectly increase the risk of rhabdomyolysis. First, we have foods high in cholesterol. This includes items like red meat, full-fat dairy products, and fried foods. Cholesterol can build up in your arteries, making it harder for your heart to pump blood. This can lead to muscle damage, a key factor in the development of rhabdomyolysis. Next up are foods high in sodium. Think processed foods like canned soups, fast food, and pre-packaged meals. Consuming too much sodium can lead to high blood pressure, another risk factor for rhabdomyolysis. Processed sugars are also a big no-no. These are found in sweets, soft drinks, and many processed foods. Consuming too much sugar not only leads to weight gain and diabetes, but can also cause kidney damage, which increases the risk of rhabdomyolysis. Now, we can't forget about the role of hydration. Dehydration can cause muscle breakdown, which can trigger rhabdomyolysis. So it's essential to drink plenty of water throughout the day, especially if you're physically active. On the flip side, limiting alcohol intake is also crucial. Alcohol can lead to dehydration and muscle injury, both of which can contribute to the development of rhabdomyolysis. So the takeaway here is to be mindful of what you're putting into your body. Opt for a balanced diet filled with lean proteins, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, and don't forget to stay hydrated and limit your alcohol intake. Remember, the food you consume plays a significant role in your overall health, including the risk of rhabdomyolysis. We've covered a lot about rhabdomyolysis today. Let's summarize the key points. Rhabdomyolysis, quite a mouthful, isn't it? It's a serious syndrome due to a direct or indirect muscle injury. It results from the death of muscle fibers and release of their contents into the bloodstream which can lead to complications such as kidney failure. This syndrome can be life-threatening, but can be treated if it's caught early. We dove into the symptoms, which can range from mild to severe. They include muscle aches, weakness, and stiffness or joint pain. In more severe cases, symptoms can escalate to include nausea, vomiting, confusion, and even seizures. 
It's crucial to remember that these symptoms might not always appear, so awareness is key. Our journey continued to the causes and risk factors. Anything that damages muscle tissue can lead to rhabdomyolysis. Common causes include trauma, infections, drug abuse, and extreme physical activity. Certain medical conditions and medications can also increase the risk. We then took a detour into the world of nutrition. Some foods can exacerbate the risk of rhabdomyolysis, like those high in fat, cholesterol, and sugar. On the other hand, a balanced diet with plenty of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains can help keep your muscles healthy and lower the risk of rhabdomyolysis. In essence, rhabdomyolysis isn't just a medical term, but a call to action for all of us to lead healthier lives. It's a reminder of the importance of balanced nutrition, regular exercise, and medical checkups. It also underscores the significance of being aware of our bodies and the signals they send us. The journey doesn't end here though. Knowledge is power, but it's the application of knowledge that truly makes a difference. So let's take this information, apply it, and encourage those around us to do the same. Stay alert, stay healthy, and remember, awareness is the first step towards prevention. Thank you for taking the time to learn about rhabdomyolysis.